Hello. All right, more pap. More pap. Yes, blind me with the red screen, Nintendo, blind me. Ah, oh, the complete title screen, probably. Oh, crap, I hit the microphone. Do I have the compressor on? I do. No, no, don't play the intro! Don't play the intro! All right, so last time, we entered the dirty, stinky, musty, stinky pirate cave full of mold and mildew. And we recruited Bobbery with his very consistent accent. And now, I don't know, we go explore the cave. Ooh. 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 We... Oh, there's a spring here. So it's okay. We are entering deep. Did I- did I use this one? What happens if I put the- oh wait, yeah, if I put them all on, it cycles, doesn't it? Yeah. Just like in 64. Good, good start. Oh, oh, but we gotta bring out the Goomba. Yeah, getting that Quika music. Ah uh, no, the re the red mist has cometh. That's a lava bubble. It's a flame spirit. Its HP and attack power may be different from an ember's, but otherwise it's the same. Since it's made of fire, try not to touch it, cause it'll burn you. And whatever you do, make sure you don't attack it with fire. I mean it. Apparently, it's vulnerable to explosions and ice attacks. Oh, and if you get hit by a flame attack, you might catch fire, so guard well. Oh, it missed me. But yeah, I have the- I have the ice stomp badge on, so I can just do this. And the game does not care at all. Yeah, give me money, because I'm going to need it for that Luigi badge that's coming up. Thank you. Can I kill from over here? This place has got some nice ambience. Fun fact, some explosives are detonated with other explosives, so the first explosives don't blow up as much. Fascinating. Which sounded sarcastic, but I do mean it.
Uh oh, I didn't kill. Oh. It makes the fire dudes be being vulnerable to explosions make slightly more sense. True. Oh, oh, level up. And you know, you know what that means. You know what that means. Hmm, I'm a thirsty lad. <laughs> Oh, and a fire flower. Which I can't use against the lava dudes, but you know. So let's see, what what can we put on now? Head rattle, charge. Fire drive. Oh wow. Ignores defense. That's pretty good. Hammer throw, happy heart. HP plus. Ice smash. I had that before, right? I think so. Oh, the music's... The music's kind of going. Oh, this, this might be good. Hello, integer. Wait, tornado jump. You know what? Let's try tornado jump. Well, wait, I still have one more. And put head rattle on too, why not? Hmm, there there seems to be a crank. A crank for my play date. Oh hey, Vivian's gotta come back out. I mean she's already come out, but you know. But she probably won't be very good in this area. I mean, actually, actually, what do you, what do you gotta say? What do you gotta say? There's a couple of build blasters at the end of this corridor. Someone really wants to keep us out. You know what? Who cares? Can't stop us, suckers. Let's get going, Mario. Oh, well, thanks for warning me about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so need to tattle that. That's a bill blaster. It's the cannon that shoots bullet bills. Doesn't attack directly, but it shoots bullet bills at you. I know the bullet bills are annoying, but take out the blaster first, trust me. Ugh, how many of those things will it shoot at us? You're so annoying! Have I tattled the bullet bills before? I have not. So we gotta do that. So, has anyone here, like... Did anyone here ever look at the bullet bills and think that the arm was a mouth? Because I've heard some people did that. That's a bullet bill. It attacks after being shot from a bill blaster. Take care of it quickly, or it'll, or it'll totally wail into you, mosh pit style. Goombella, what does that even mean? Oh, that's what it means, okay. Yeah, I never thought that it was, uh, 
I don't, or at least I don't think I ever thought it was a map. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, cool. Thank you very much. But yeah, uh, for some reason when I was a kid, I did think Lakitu's name was pronounced Lukatu, though, for some reason. <laughs> I can't even use that, but thanks anyway. But yeah, I, I just kind of like read it through quickly and I'm like, yeah, that says Lukatu. And I, I just never reevaluated that. Because I mean, why, why reevaluate information you already know? Ah, coins. Yes, yes, big monies. Oh, sorry. I used to pronounce it Lakitu. I mean, is that, that, that might actually be the right way, I don't know. I just know it's not what I said. <laughs> We're inside Pirate's Grotto. Pirates must have built the bridges in Sluis Gate here. There's also a waterfall flowing down from above. Be careful not to lose your footing. Very cool looking bri- oh. I mean, like, she is an archaeologist. Watch me sluice right in. Big man! Big man! There's a hole in this winch. If I know my winches, there must be an item that fits perfectly here. Big man! Big man! Hello, Coolified. Okay. Tattle the big, big old bomb. That's a bulky bob -omb. I think it's like other bob but it's huge. It's weird. It never attacks, but once its fuse is lit, it'll blow up on its own eventually. I don't mind it taking itself out of the battle, but that explosion hurts us too. Oh, and when it powers up, that attack powers eight, so watch out. Fire and explosions will make them blow up immediately, so I guess setting it off early is one strategy. You can run too, but if you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. You notice how I did not say beat it off. Except now I did, so never mind. Yeah, give me some good money. Is there any, uh... Any cool secrets hidden around here? It's totally weird to walk around down here. I mean, pirates lived here. Scourge of the Seas. I wonder where their souls are wandering now. Oh, the blue fire. Hello, Kovar. Very good turnout very early on, I must say. You know, it's, it's probably tacky to comment on that. I should maybe stop doing it. But I mean, I like it when people show up to my stream. You know, uh, be, be the mouse. Can she slap the fire? No, she cannot. Okay. I mean, makes sense. Can the audience plants eat the bombs? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Truth be told, I'm not paying as much attention to the audience as I would probably like to. Because, you know, I'm, I'm kind of doing something up here right now. Yeah, but like like I was saying a, a few streams ago, I, I echo treated the room, which is what Kovar was talking about. He gave me some good advice regarding that, and it, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. But uh, one of my one of my blankets I got up on the wall <laughs> fell down in the middle of the night, so I had to I had to like apply a new strip to the command hook. 
Now, what do you do about this? There, there's still that one block. There's still that one block in, like, the, the puny tree that I never got. I still gotta remember to go back. We're, we're gonna have a, a part where we do a bunch of cleanup. <laughs> and we got more enemies to tattle. Which is why I have Goombella out 90% of the time. I don't know why, but I love it when partners take an unwanted dive. Sonic, Sonic 06 moment. Ah! That's a para buzzy, a buzzy beetle with wings. I guess those stats are just like a buzzy. Yep, yep. Buzzy that flies. They fly now! Ow. Imagine how much better tattles would be on a console with achievements. Yeah, I mean, I mean, what's the point of getting all the stuff in Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door if I can't brag to all my friends that I did it? I, I say while streaming. <laughs> I'm fully aware of the irony. The, the crowd is just entirely bombs. I guess I really bombed this time. Oh, oh yep, yep. The, everybody, the crowd is leaving. Everybody in the crowd is gone now. Yeah, you gotta use your new friend. You gotta explode the door for you. Ooh, turn back! Ooh, go no farther, or you will never leave. You can check out any time you like, though. That might have been a bad idea. <laughs> hey, you know what? I can survive that. Didn't get no didn't get no star points though, besides that one. You know, guys, I'm I'm beginning to wonder if maybe we're leading up to an upgrade. But wait, wait, what does Goombella have to say about this? Oh, no, no, the same room as the other place. I see that. I honestly don't like that they added the partners getting hit by hammer <laughs> animation, because now I feel bad. I don't know if that was the intended solution to the puzzle, but it worked. All right, Gatto the Grotto. Can I stand under this? <laughs> I mean, yes, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see what the deal is. It's like in Mario and Luigi where you're so strong, you go into a battle, but you one-shot everything with the opening attack. Yes. So, wait, does that just... Oh, no, wait, there it is. There is a shine sprite to the left there. Uh, no! No! Okay. 
So what you want to do, the puzzle is, jump over to the crate. Yeah? So then, when the platform rises back up... Yeah, you're on the crate. And you can get over here. And don't think I don't see that. I saw that. Oh, don't, don't go in the water. <laughs> Finally, Kovar combined the crate expectations and great jokes. He has combined my entire joke repertoire into one joke. Yeah. Now we can proceed further into the ca ah! There's a lot of duders in here. A lot of dude men, you mean? Uh, tomato, tomato. Oh. But yeah, I see, I see that. I know all about that. This is a strange room. Oh, hello, waves. Okay, that doesn't work. Oh, no, wait, what am I doing? Well, I'm aiming wrong, but there we go. Okay, more Vivian time. Oh, well, technically... Technically, I don't think Vivian is actually the answer to this puzzle, but, I mean, she works. I think you're actually supposed to... ...do this. But, you know, but like I said, both work. Both are a solution. What? Man, there's a lot of shine sprites in here. That's cleverly hidden. I probably should have switched Vivian out. Because, yeah, like I said, her whole thing is fire. And, uh, that doesn't help me right now. You know what? You know what? We'll just, we'll bypass the whole thing. That's a heart. Vivian did the Amtal now when you did the hidden block. Yeah, Vivian's tail, or whatever you call that, me ghostly tail, will, will actually extend pretty far. I know I didn't have to do that. But I did it anyway. Okay, now we're playing the Koopa. Playing the Koopa house. I do not know how to get <laughs> to steal that item before he uses it. He has become large.
Man, I'm very unsatisfied by my coins not being 200. Okay, that's that's better. Blow stuff up. Am I going to get told off by a ghost? Oh no, there's just going to be bullet bills. You know, doesn't doesn't Miss Mouse doesn't her attack like ignore da no, ignore defense? I feel like it does. Yeah, Pierce's defense. But I can't do anything about that right now. Love slap. Yeah, so that, that, that does some pretty good damage to these guys. Oh, okay. I have been I have been enchanted. I don't remember what mechanical purpose the audience size serves. Uh, basically, the more people there are in the audience, the more star power you get. And I assume that the reason why the audience gets bigger over the course of the game is sort of a balance thing. Basically so that your bar starts charging up faster. Because obviously once you get further in the game, you're probably going to want to use the old moves less and less. Sixty nine. So yeah, if you do like if you do a stylish move like this, then you get like extra power from the audience. And that's how you use your super special star moves. I... I have made a error in judgment, I think. Well, not, not that big an error. Or at least not an error with particularly large consequences. So, ultimately I have learned nothing. I may have played through the entire OG without realizing audience size effects star power. Oh, no, that's fine. I When I first played the game, I went through the whole thing without ever super guarding. Because technically, you, you don't need to know that. You can play the game just fine without knowing that. Okay, I think this would be a another good time to use Art Attack. Art Alive for the Sega Genesis. Which is like Mario Paint, but worse. Wow, 20 from that. We, we're close to another level. Oh, oh. What is it, girl? What do you smell? Is it back here? It isn't. Uh, might be like, it might be behind there on the water. Gee, I can't help but notice that I've just jumped off a cliff onto this boat platform and there's no way for me to get back. That's very interesting, I think. I wonder if that's at all significant. Well, first things first. 
Oh, so take more damage and deal more damage. I could do that. I mean, there's this. Ah, super mushroom. York! What about it? Oh, sweet, sweet salvation! I thought no one would ever come. I had given up. What's that? Spare you the prologue and just curse you already? Now, how did you know I was gonna do that? No, seriously, hang on a sec. Can't you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? I've been locked in here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practice this speech. Uh, kind of grammatically incorrect there. Need to practice some more, I think. Huh? You've already- I'm already the fourth cursing chest you met? Are you serious? So, you're saying you know exactly how this is all gonna turn out. Man, talk about a raw deal. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? Okay, fine, 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 fine. I get the picture, okay? Sheesh, all I wanted to do was see the face of some unlucky soul when I popped out. Is that so much to ask? No. Anyway, what are you waiting for? Just open it already. You know what the key looks like, Mr. Seen It All already? Some ghost here has it. But just beat him, get it, and we'll get this farce over with. Come on now, I'm waiting. Yeah, we're just... Mario's just going through the motions at this point. You know, I'll bring out Cooper, man. I'm pressing it too late. I'm trying to do his stylish, but I keep... I keep messing it up. But yeah, I, I always thought that was really funny. <laughs> I seem to have forgotten the timing. Pressed it too early. And we got another level up, which means even more badge for me to put on and enjoy. Because I'm a sick man. A sick man with a badge fetish. And yep, the key's just right here. We're not even... We're, we're not even doing a quest for it, it's just right here. You know what, I'll put that on. Now, if I could use charge to, ch like, charge as the partner, but give it to Mario, that would be very handy. Hmm. You know what, I'll, I'll put this back on. Yeah, yeah, whoop de doo you got the key. Party time, now let me out already. Alright, here we go. Since you're just itching to get this over with. <clears throat> Fools! You dope fell into my- right into my absolutely brilliant trap, and now you will suffer! Oh yeah, I'm so evil! Bathe in the foul, awful- Wait, what was next? 
Oh yeah, you fools will be cursed forever for your appalling stupidity. You will rue the day you open this chest of doom. Now, you wretched guy. B. B E C U R S E D. <laughs> now you're cursed, but good. Suffer, suffer, suffer. Wait, that's maybe too much. Are you alright? That didn't really hurt, did it? <laughs> good. Squirm and suffer like a bunch of socially awkward worms. From now on, in certain places, if you press Y, you'll turn into a paper boat. Isn't that just gruesome? Just try it out so I can see the depth of your humiliation. Feel the terror of your fate. When you stand on one of these boat panels, the panel will feel your curse and glow. Man, it must have been expensive to put those everywhere. Yeah, stand here, slime. This shit's doing it for me, slime. Feel the pain and press Y. Become a paper boat. I don't know why, why, but... <laughs> oh yes, suck suffering. Do you feel the horror? Now you're a piddly little boat. <laughs> you float on the water. People will laugh at you. You will be spit upon. But it only works in certain places, so don't worry, it's not too bad. You can only... You can control your paper boat self with the left stick. I will allow you to be the master of your own shameful buoyancy. When you want to unboat yourself, port the panel and press Y. Unboat. Which is a word that they made up. Yes, your pain is like a tasty banquet to me. Do you understand your doom? Then off with you, you jaded, cursed boat guy. Oh, and hey, listen, thanks for letting me do my thing. I feel better. Um, you think that guy in the chest is actually on our side? Well, what makes you say that? The fact that each one of these curses has been almost entirely helpful? And completely controllable? It's possible. Okay. Oh, coin. Coin. Okay, anything cool over here? No. Wait, what if I go behind? What if I go this way? No. But yeah, like I was saying, this room is specifically designed to where once you go here, you can't get back up here until you actually get the move, which is pretty good design. Pretty clever. But yes, now we have new moves with which to do new things. Miss Mouse is ripping off the rat from the comic zone with her smelling secrets. Dude, put two and two together. Okay, just random bomb. <laughs> Can't flee this fight, why not? What's so important about this fight? I'm just gonna cheese it. Here, I'm gonna draw an Among Us. It, di it didn't really work out. <laughs> yep, and it just... No, no particular reason that fight happened, it just did. It just freaking did. But yeah, now you're over here. Okay, you know what? We'll do- we'll do the puzzle the other way. You know, just to be fair about the whole thing. <laughs> yep, the- you get the morph ball in this game. 
No, I'm doing pretty good on health. But now I think I want to go back up here. Still don't know how to get that. I think I might have to come back with something later. But I could be wrong about that. Yeah, see, here's, here's a boat platform. You go up here. Okay, first, I want to see if there's anything to the right here. Could be. It didn't look like it, but there could be. Oh, there is. There is. It's a secret behind the waterfall. So if you had if you had any doubts that this game was a masterpiece, they hid something behind the waterfall. Oh. Partner defense. That's pretty uh, cool, I guess. Don't uh, really need it. Wait, did I did I put on a new badge? Yeah, I did. Okay, now you probably want to go like down. But at first I want to go well, okay, never mind. There's nothing over here. So yeah, we're going down. Yeah, that's like the puzzle, you know. First, I wanna I wanna check out this room. Well, there's like a, a floodgate there. Oh, and there's coins. There's coins behind the thing. Nothing there though, which is weird. My controller is vibrating like there's no tomorrow. You would think this is Mario Wonder. There's... there's nothing in here. Is there, is there any place I can go underneath the bridge? No, I don't th I don't think so. Face up top looks like the tree at the start of Majora's Mask. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Okay, yeah, that's what we're supposed to do, but I'm just... I'm checking around first. No, there's nothing else. Yeah, so just gotta do that, come over here, grab that thing, and then pop on back over. Okay, now, can I- wait. No, wait, I'm stupid. I'm a stupid idiot because there's no- There's nowhere to get out of boat. Because one cannot unboat just anywhere. You know, that- that would be a pretty awful curse if, like, you turned into a boat and then, uh, like, the platform got destroyed and you couldn't unboat. Also, that- it's basically the replacement for Sushi's ability in the first game. Now that I think about it. There- there's a few part- like, there's a few partners that do new- like, completely new things. But then a couple of them, like Vivian and, uh... You know, Bobbery and Goombella have a pretty clear analogs in the first game. But I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Fun fact, Vivian is trans- Wow, we didn't know that. That is news to me. Okay, open it up. Open it up. Ooh. Ooh. There's that voice again. The ghost must be near us somewhere. 
Well, okay, why did we do- why did we have to do all of that? I mean, now I can go back and turn into a boat and do that again. Do it 300 times over again. Oh wait. No wait, crap, I can't go... I don't think I can go back over there. That's a one-way... that's a one-way gate. God, I'm wasting so much time right now. I mean, it was just... It was just the nature of games on the GameCube to waste your time. And, and I say that as someone who has an altar to the GameCube and worships, worships it as a god. Isn't that the whole point of all video games? You know? That's deep, Cover. That's real deep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's... There's something to this big old head, I feel like. But uh, you can't do that. Well, you know what, whatever. Anyway, we can, we can go down here. Now we got a choice of direction. Well, there's nothing over here, so this is the wrong one. There's no wrong answers, except for that one. That one's wrong. But yeah, now we can go through here, but you gotta watch out! There's waves. And I don't think they hurt you or anything, but they'll push you back. And that's not good because generally the objective of a video game is to make progress. And, you know, if you don't make progress, then, you know, it's just kind of counter counterproductive, isn't it? See what the waves do? Okay. I suppose that's not a bad idea. Okay, it does that. So, it, it- it puts you back at the start, which is more than I thought it was gonna do. Kinda regretting it. Now that I know that, but... Eh, eh, eh. Eh. <laughs> do it, do it again. Okay. Nah. Yeah, you thought you could hide that from me. You thought I wouldn't... S you thought I wouldn't find the coins. Who, who is talking here? Hey, something's coming. There, floating on the water. Oh, it's toads. I like that they have unique toad voice. Is that... is that a boat? Hey, over here! Save us, please! You really think I'm gonna be able to fit you guys on here? It's made a- made out of paper. <laughs> but now we gotta have a platforming section. In the background, there's a big old ship. Oh, ship! Probably one of the more extensive ones. Like, they- they have this mechanic, but they don't do a ton with it. You know, the whole background... platforming mechanic. 
<laughs> I misunderstood. I misunderstood the assignment. There you go. Hey, we can cross over now! Hey, hey, what are we waiting for? Let's go! The cast of Sticker Star be like. But I can't even say that because even these guys are more visually interesting. <laughs> Okay, it just kind of just kind of plops you over. I mean, maybe it plops you. Maybe there's a position you can stand at where <laughs> where you don't hit the pole. <laughs> sure, it would be nice if I could do <laughs> if I could do this. Bobbery, help me. <laughs> Bobbery. Am I missing something? <laughs> Maybe I just jump here. Like, yeah, yeah. The problem is I was jumping up on, uh... I was jumping up on the ledge and they don't want you to do that. Aren't you Mario? It's me, me, Don Piantas' daughter, Francesca. And Frankie's here too. After my dad forgave us, we set out on a trip. The ship we were, got, we were on got a little too close to this island, and now look at us. Oh, thank you, Kovar. Mario usually likes jumping over barrels, not on them. Still, I'm amazed about the rumors about Cortex... Cortez... Cortez... The crystals! <laughs> Uh, still, I'm amazed the rumors about Cortez were all true, which means he's nearby. Hey, so by the way, why are you here? Don't tell me Daddy had you come here to take us back. What? There's a crystal star in the pirate's treasure? Well, I think the treasure's right in there, watched by Cortez's spirit. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortez is the one that trapped us on that raft, so smack him one for me. Frankie and I are just so in love, anytime, anywhere, no matter how dank. <laughs> hey, Puddin' Pie, cool it, will you? I mean, come on, babe, everyone's watching. Does he know? Uh, uh Yeah, he's got cool things, but I don't I don't wanna buy nothing right now.
Whoa, whoa. Whoa, did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you in here, but I got lost along the way, and, uh... Well, anyway, I followed this path, and I finally caught up with you, and then... Listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the crystal star's inside that pirate ship. And the Pirate King Cortez in there, too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. No big deal, though, right? You can take him, big guy. Or you. We're counting on you. Boy, I know I sure am. And so is Grotus. Wait, Grotus? What did you mean by that? Who? Grotus? Oh, sorry, what did I say? For forget it. I'll just wait here so I don't get in the way. Hmm. Yeah, that's a very unsuspicious fellow. Okay, now save. Wait, can I get over there? Can I get on over there? Yeah. Sure can. And there's a mushroom. How cool is that? But I feel like there's something up there that's very... That's very suspicious. So you know what, I'm gonna save again. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, let's go inside. Say hello to old Cortez. Ooh, you ignored my warning. Ooh, come inside the door and be lost in darkness. into my <laughs> Ooh. Enough. I grow tired of this spooky ooh business. I'm a pirate blast it. Pirates do not moan. I'm a cold-blooded villain who robs innocents of life and loot, and not a crying ghost. And you are after my treasure! And this, this is my ship. What are you doing here? Hopla, speak! I'll turn your mustache into a bone polisher. Yo ho 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 Yep, you, you know what time it is. Oh, I messed that up. That's Cortez. He's the dreaded pirate spirit who haunts the island. His HP may seem low, but he's a spirit, so even when his HP hits zero, he'll come back. Plus, he has tons of different attacks. He's as tough and scary as he looks. I'd say just keep damaging him, and sooner or later, he'll go down for good. Let's give this tormented spirit some eternal rest. Uh... <laughs> didn't anyone ever tell Cortez that piracy is a serious crime? You wouldn't download a crystal star. Okay, but now that I've done that, we can, uh... We can swap. Oh, uh, the backdrop fell. Crap, mess- didn't do it. Oh, but... <laughs> Yeah, not not great at that time. Eh? You know what? Let's let's spin jump. And we'll we'll bomb him. Why not? Oh 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 oh! Cortez. 
Juni Cortez. Does that work? I don't think that works. I just use my foot up for nothing. Bro, I am I am not good at dealing with this guy's attacks. Oh, but he's got a new form. And it's kind of freaky looking. If I if I can be totally honest with you. A little weird. Oh wait, wait. That's not good! <laughs> hmm. That, that seems like a, a good move. And uh, I'm gonna heal Bobbery. I mean, I could probably just switch him out. Or whatever. Did that not even work? I I don't think that actually that <laughs> he is just no selling all of my crap right now. That wasn't a direct attack. Oh well, I guess I guess so. Yo, know Miss Mouse, can can she slap that safely? We're about to find out. Actually, you know what? You know who would be good right now? And then do this. Yeah, suck on that. Oh, but wait, I revealed- I revealed his core. I revealed his shiny green core. Except he unrevealed it, so it doesn't even matter. Man, I'm just fumbling this fight hard time- hard time. But I'm still winning, so... Does this version support the game- Smash Brothers GameCube adapter? I'm pretty sure most Switch games do. But you know, you always got the, like, missing trigger button. Okay, so this guy is going to try and kill me. With his swords. Will fire work against this? Like, what did... Did Gumbella say, like, fire no bueno? <laughs> nah, she- she did not mention fire. So I'm gonna- I'm gonna give it a try. <laughs> okay, so that didn't quite work. It, or at least it, it it didn't do it quite as well as I had hoped. So who can who can attack on Moss? You know what? Yoshi, Naka. Crap, never mind. I don't know. Maybe not any of them. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring Vivian back out. And we're gonna hide. This move might be a little overpowered. Oh, but the crowd does not like it. Oh wait, crap! What do you mean he's going again? G Cortez, how come mom lets you have two turns? Oh, okay, thanks. Oh, oh, no, can't do, can't be doing that. Oh, can't be doing that either. Oh, but okay. Pure dumb luck has saved the day once again. What, 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 what do you mean his sword is back? What do you mean? You know what, we're gonna do Earth Tremor. Yeah, just just take out all them swords if you would. There we go. Light that man on fire. Ah! I can't take much more of this. It's called for something special. Now you will see the true might of my spirit form. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, just devour the souls of half the audience. <laughs> you know, for kids. Ah, oh, crap, I got no foop. Oh, right, Bob Bobbery's dizzy. Come on, come on. Yes! Hmm. You know what, we'll, we'll do Bomb Squad. Well, that didn't work out. There we go. No, don't do that. The audience around the daisy passed out. Don't do that. God, I, I mean, I know that I'm not fighting very good, but everybody fell asleep. Insert joke about average Dustin stream reaction here. But, but nah, nah, that's not true. I don't have an audience that big. <laughs>
Okay, maybe Bobbery is- is not the answer here. You know what? Naka. Do your- do your thing, lad. Oh, okay, never mind. I forgot, you can- you cannot hit. Ow. Oh, yep, so- so that attack can hurt me, it turns out. Oh! Come on! Vivian! Viv! Viv! Yes, the epic punch! You missed that guy. Oh, yes! Yes! It happened again! It happened again! <laughs> Both games this happened. I love it. <laughs> no! My treasure! <laughs> I'm done for. Yo ho 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 ho! A stupid oh! You are foolish indeed, for I am not dead! Well, actually, you are dead. Well, technically, I was already dead, but my espiritu endures, tied to my treasure. So you cannot do anything to me! I do not live! You cannot kill me in a way that matters! Still, guarding this treasure for hundreds of years is almost as boring as death. What? You're not even interested in my treasure? Then why are you here? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> On Sirio? You want this? Oh yeah. This little rock over here. You serious? <laughs> why why did I why did I turn him into J. Jonah Jameson? I have no idea. Well that's no big deal. Here, take it. What do I need one or two extra gems for? I did- I did not really like that one anyway. We could have avoided all of this! Sweet feast! I wonder what's for dinner? Oh wait, crap. I hit the wrong thing. Cortez, Scourge of the Seas. Mario soundly defeated this fearful spirit and claimed the Crystal Star. Perhaps the peaceful citizens of the world no longer need fear Cortez and his fellowship. The only problem remaining is how Mario will escape this isolated island. And could there be another problem still hiding beneath our hero's nose? I mean, there's a lot of room to hide, to be fair. Bueno, that should do it. If you don't need anything else, away with you! And then, I heard something my ears could not believe. We had actually discovered the legendary treasure of the Pirate King Cortez. Oh, dang. Oh yeah, we healed. We healed. But yeah, we're still kind of stuck on this island. Whoa! That was like an earthquake in there! Are you alright? Uh -huh. Yahoo! You beat Cortez! Wow! You're really something! My microphone really does not like this voice! <laughs> or at least my, you know, my... Interface, you know. <laughs> hey, if you got time to be impressed by heroics, you've got time to think of a way out of here. Um, all that shaking caused this wall here to crack a bit. I feel a breeze. 
If we break down this wall, I think we can escape. I guess that's not much help. What? A breeze? How are we gonna bust that solid rock, though? Do not worry, my son. I have a way, but th this isn't it. She's unrelated. She is completely unrelated to this process. Yeah, she doesn't have a lot to say about these guys, and understandably so. God, can you imagine if you could tattle in in Sticker Star? Yeah, it's another fucking toad. <laughs> what can I say? There you go. Ah, work just like I said. Well, me first. Come on, everybody, let's get out of here. Goombella would totally say that, too. Well, she uh, she wouldn't say that, that one part that I inserted in there because she literally can't, but... This damp cave air is just not good for my skin. Let's go, Frankie. You saved our lives, man! We are eternally grateful! <laughs> Rated M for more fucking toads. Oh, and here we are over here. And yeah, all right. Like somebody said, he is related to a secret. So, I'm sorry, little one. What well, cool direct hit? Does he immediately come back, or do I have to like leave and come back before he'll show up again? Yeah, I think I gotta, like, be in a different area. Anyway, yeah, like, shortcut to the end of the, the dungeon, so... I need to get back to Rokeport where my brother is waiting! I didn't know what to do stranded in that cave. But the whole thing was rather exciting. Well, I mean... Oh yeah, here they are, here they are. Ah, Mario! Welcome back to you, my stalwart captain. What do the whack of bumps even do? They restore like a ton of health and you can like use them in recipes and stuff. But that's not why I hit him. I hit him because there's there's a new secret in the remake that is related to that. How is our little expedition faring, hmm? What? The spirit of Cortez was guarding the treasure. And you beat him. But you left all the treasure there? Ah! What were you thinking? Were you trying to be nice? Oh well, that's what I like about you, I guess. Ah, cheap viewers. Cheap viewers on Cutley. Could it be? Brother? You... What are you doing here? I... I... I came looking for your brother! All this way to this island I came looking! A ghost attacked us, and our boat just sank! But I found you now! Huh? Your boat sank too? So you're all stranded here as well? <laughs> How do these toads tell each other apart? Smell. Well, see, that one's all tattered up, and then that one's like green, and he's wearing different colored overalls. Oh, so what are you saying? All all toads look alike? Is that what you're saying? Man, I can't believe you'd say something like that in my chat. Uh-oh. Ah, what is that? Oh. Yeah, that that's bad news bears right there. Pardon me, guys. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> so sorry to surprise you. No wait, no need for that fake politeness anymore. Good job getting a crystal star. Oh yeah, seriously. Good got good job getting it for me. That's a, I love that pose. <laughs> Oi now, ain't that good old four eyes? Yeah, that is four eyes. What's he doing over there? 
Hey, four eyes! It's dangerous up there! <laughs> What's with this lukewarm reception, huh? Dramatic entrance here! Oh, whatever. I'll spell it out for you idiots. You may have known me as four eyes. But I'm actually... Buh! 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 The Great Lord Crump! Oh man, did I fool you! I was the mastermind in the shadows running this voyage. It hurts to be this good. Now Mario, enough of this. I'm on a schedule here. Hand over that crystal star. Because you know what'll happen if you don't. Starboard cannons, port cannons, fire, fire, fire! Buh, huh, 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 huh! Yikes! Four Eyes was a pirate all this time! Madness! What are we all standing around for? Cannons, people! We must flee! Look, we're sailors. We're not much good for anything without a ship to sail. Hello, Zero Kirby. Wait! I have it! I'm a genius! We have a ship at hand, and a fine one, I must say. <laughs> My wife just pointed out there's only a front cannon, not starboard or port. Well, don't tell Crump that, he's not gonna be happy. Mario, take me to Cortez. Yes, my brain remembered what you said. You said that Cortez had a ship. If the legend is true, then we should be unstoppable in that cursed ship. Flavio, what are you talking about? There's no way that'll work! This is Cortez the pirate you're talking about here! Even if Mario did beat him, why would he lend you his ship, huh? He'll cream you! ka re -eam you! Hey, I may be a coward and a cad, but I still lead you. I have a duty to protect you. What voice are you doing for Flavio? Spanish? Yeah, it's kind of Spanish. Little, <laughs> little bit, uh... <laughs> Antonio Banderas. We will be cannon father if we sit and wag our tongues. We must at least try, Cortez. I want to hear no complaints. I am your leader, and I will negotiate with this Cortez. Now, Mario, take me to the pirate scum this instant. Also, uh, I guess he went to the Stormtrooper School of Aim because I don't think he's hit a single Persian yet. A Persian, I think I said. Get something? Cortez, I, I I have to speak to you. C -c 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 Could you lend me your sh 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 ship? What? What would possess me to lend you my ship? And who are you anyway? My, 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 my name is Flavio. We are in big trouble, and we could really use your ship. We, we must protect our crew from bad pilots that are blasting us to bits. So we just need to borrow your ship for the teensiest little while. What are you talking about? I do not rent this ship for pleasure cruises. And even if I would lend it to you, this ship is Magica. It cannot move now. The key to powering the ship is the mystical Skull Gem. The Skull Gem? You... you mean this? You! You have the Skull Gem! Uh, yes, yes, I do. So, all right, what do you say to this preposition, then? Take the gem handed down through generations of my family, and you lend us your ship. I think that is a pretty fair deal, do you not think, Cortez, old friend? Old oh, friend, your ancestors stole that gem from me, you strutting peacock! You must be very brave or very, very foolish to ask such a thing of me. I should turn you into a piñata and throw a party on the beach! Wait, 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 wait just a moment. 
Do not make me have Mario trounce you again. While he fights you, I will throw this stone into the sea where you will never find it. How would that be? You rattle my bones, Senor Peacock. Mm. Bueno, the igual. Fine, take it. I accept your bargain. Now be very careful with that gem. Ah, check and meet, Flavio. I did not make my fortune by failing in negotiation, no. You can talk your way through any deal, I say. Now, you take this. I like them having Cortez use more Spanglish. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ah, now my precious black skull will sail the seas again. I was getting quite annoyed by the sound of cannons outside anyway. Now I can really stretch my bones and wreak havoc on the seas like the old days. So, Mario, feel free to thank me any time for saving us all. But for now, we sail. Well, what do I do? Do I just- do I leave? You know, if I had a nickel for every Mario RPG where Mario defeats a pirate in combat, and then the pirate respects and helps him with the greater foe, I would have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Hey, we're coming too! <laughs> yeah, like I said, every time I do the Toad voice, my- <laughs> My interface, like, lights up red. <laughs> like, it does not like that voice. <laughs> Let's take them, come on. All for one, guys. Boy, I ain't letting old Flavio Fancy Pants hold the glory. Come on, Captain Stash. It's been a millennium since I gazed out upon the sea. Come to open waters. <laughs> Your toad voice is peak. <laughs> yeah. Bo, bo, bo! I got ammo to spare. How's that for boom, bossa boom? You fire cannons here without my permission. You have nerve, mortal. What the? I can't believe you can do toad voice for that long without it hurting your throat. I mean, don't get me wrong, if I did it for too long, it, it would. It absolutely would. <laughs> but... Honestly, I, I haven't been bothering for most of this playthrough, but I don't know. It just it just felt like a real toady kind of night, you feel me? Yeah, ram them! No, wait, no, wait, there are cannons on the side. They just have a big old spike on top of them. I'm gonna sink this ratty old ghost ship to the bottom of the ocean. Hear my voices, spirits. Take their ship and show them the meaning of fear. <laughs> oh, there's, the, there's another one of them crowd scenes Miyamoto loves so much. Mario, my captain, it is now your turn again. Get over there and duel that cad. <laughs> and we get a different... We get a different remix of the theme. Love that. Buh, buh, buh. I'm gonna turn you guys into wee seeds. Wait, that's not right. I'll turn you into seaweed. Buh, enjoy. Okay, but we got some tattling to do. That's an X-Knot platoon. Crump commands them all. Where'd they come from? The max HP depends on their condition, but attack is five and defense is zero. They're gonna come at us with coordinated group maneuvers, I'm sure. But they're pretty wimpy, so... We should be able to handle it, don't you think? Yes! 
Okay, and now to tattle the man. That's Lord Crump, not this guy again. Ugh. He just attacks normally, so don't worry much about him. But those x knots all around him are a force to be reckoned with. They're going to attack us all with all kinds of weird moves. I can just feel it. If we take out their leader, though, they won't have to focus the focus to attack. Get Crump. Get Crump. Yeah, baby, get Crumpy. I, I probably would not accept an actual role to, to voice a woman, though. How crump with you, sweetie pie? Which is also just kind of the toad voice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, just circle them. Circle them good. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, he's really easy to... He's really easy to counterattack. But now that we've tattled, let's, uh... Let's get out one of our new partners out here. Well, we, we will have to see, my friend. Slap him! Oh, that's right. You press A when she's, like, walking back. <laughs> Not gonna get off that easily, losers. Let's see how you like this. x knots. Hmm. Yeah, you know? Oh, no, not the Sky Fork. The Sky Fugle. Did they make Miss Mouse better at battling at all? I, I don't know. I really don't. Uh, maybe I should uh, be Yoshi for this. Oh wait, crap. I thought I could do that. Maybe Vivi? No, no, it's it's Flurry, isn't it, that can do that? The audience hates her less in this version. I did not know that was a thing. Ow! Oh, it, it actually does not hurt me at all. <laughs> Good attack, fellers. I mean, I, I see no reason to not just kill Crump right now. Oh wait, he's... What's he doing back there? Oh, it's the Horde! Bahar! Man, this is no good. I thought I was almost ace for a second there. But you haven't finished me off yet, you sea urchins. I'm down, but no way I'm out. Uh-oh, the ball. He has invented the ball. No, don't do that! Oh wait, I could have done this for those guys. Oh well, so, uh... Oh wait, everybody's asleep! Nobody saw that! Wait, can you do this? Because that would be really funny.
No, okay. <laughs> or at least it didn't work that time. Okay, but I, I think I'm gonna swap Flurry back out. Oh wait, I didn't mean to attack these guys. Oh well. Oh hey. I'll take that. I'd buy that for a dollar. No, actually, maybe Bobbery is not a good idea. I don't know. Hey, I'll, I'll leave him in. Whatever. If nothing else, so that I can blow up the crowd. Well, not the crowd. The crowd of x It's not the crowd watching me, cheering me on. At least not yet. Oh, the background fell over. Imagine if the game let you target the audience. Stop it! I, I wish I could target the audience right now. Oh, I froze him! I froze him alive! I was frozen today! I like how they'll just do- they'll just do it without him. <laughs> oh, come on, I just got rid of those. I have been blessed! <laughs> that was a good way to end the battle. Oh, not quite a level up. We're, we're very close, though. Man, this is getting old. How could I lose again? I hate losing. I, I I tried to make like his voice and Grubba's voice distinct, but I think I'm losing it. I think they're just becoming the same voice. Now I gotta think of another excuse for Grotus, girl. And with that, pow, I'm gone. <laughs> We've done it, old boy. I should say he won't be too keen on seeing us again, eh? Okay, now we get the peach section. The interjection, if you will. You blew it again, Lord Crop. You sickened me. Look, I'm sorry. Seriously. We thought- we thought we had the guy cornered, but... Stop talking, Lord Crop. You just stand by until my next order. And, Lord Crump, think of this as your last chance, understand? Roger that. Then you're dismissed. Hey, you there. What is it, sir? Tell the three shadows to attack Mario again, and tell them not to fail this time. You got it, sir. I have one crystal star in my hands, and Mario has five. I must take some measures. <laughs> Tech called me in here again. I wonder what it is this time. Tech? Was that noise you? 
What's wrong? I must request that you do something a bit more dangerous this time. Dangerous? I would like you to sneak into Sir Grotus's room and look for a data disk. A data disk? Why would you need that? Although I can view all data on the network, I am unable to access the data of computers that are not linked to the network. Sir Grotus has information that even I am unable to view. But I must know it. I must know that information. But how will I get in there? Will I be disguised again? Not this time. We created it. This one was invented by a writer. No one other than Sir Grotus can enter his room. When Sir Grotus is elsewhere, there is a guard outside the room that permits no entry. But there is a way. You will be fine if you act according to my instructions. I must tell you, I do not want to make you do such a dangerous thing. But now I have no one to ask but you. I don't mind tech. Really, ask me anything. Peach Reddit AMA. Well then, first leave the room and take the elevator up as you did earlier. You will first go in the opposite direction of Sir Grotus's room. Exit the elevator and enter the room with the green lamp lit above it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nintendo is not gonna touch Reddit with a 10-foot pole. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. <clears throat> Oh, it's the concoction. Now I will have you concoct a potion that will make you transparent. You mean a potion that makes me invisible? No, no, see, it, it makes your kid trans, so you will be a transparent. Don't ask me how that works, it's like some Shrek nonsense. Yes, you will enter Sir Grotus's room by becoming completely invisible. If only I still had that, like, parasol that could turn me into other people, that would probably be useful. But then again, he said not even the x knots are allowed in there, so I don't know. You'd have to, like, you'd have to, like, uh, copy Grotus himself, and you have to get right up on, right up ons to do that. Wow, okay. How do I make it? You must first set all of the potions on the desk in the concoctinator. It is that machine in the back, but even I do not know which potion to set where. There should be memos left in this room by the x -Naught researchers. Please use them as references and set the potions in the machine. Okay. Note, do not place the red potion on the far right. Got it. Place the blue potion next to the red potion. Place two potions between the green potion and the red potion, so... Don't place the red potion on the far right. And, yeah, so that means... That the red potion has to be on the far left. Because that's the only way to get two potions of distance between the two. Yeah, and then green will have to be on the far right. And then, what did this say? Place the blue potion next to the red potion. Which means that logically, process of elimination, the only place the piss has left to go is the third slot. Are you sure they are placed to your liking? Very well. And please cue the button on the control panel on the left side of the room. 
Uh, could we not have the siren go off? That would be lovely. Yeah, so it, it says, place it between you. Yeah. <clears throat> Muppet Labs! Okay. Perp. It's like Toy Story 2 for the... For the PlayStation Nintendo 64 Dreamcast. Oh. <laughs> and just a touch of this. Just a touch of green. I will heat the mixed potion in the beaker for 30 seconds. Press the button exactly 30 seconds after the heating starts to stop the machine. You know, this seems awfully familiar. <clears throat> hey, Jazz. The Kool-Aid. By my calculations, it should be finished, but... Did it come out correctly? Uh... Yeah, sure, why not? Then please drink it. All of it, if you please. What? Drink this? Is it safe? It smells really funky. Well, I mean, how else are you gonna take the potion? It's not a suppository. <laughs> please, you must drink it. Oh no, I'm large! Oh, what's going on? What's happening to me? How unfortunate. It seems the beaker was not heated for the appropriate amount of time. Please do it again. Oh. <laughs> I get to be... I get to remain huge. Okay, now I'm back to normal now. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Push button. You know, I'm pushing a button to make this lady push a button. Isn't that kind of messed up if you really sit there and think entirely too hard about it? Okay, we're gonna try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. That's way too fast. Oh. Let's drink it anyway. What's going on? What's happening to me? Okay, yeah, we might have to- we might have to bust out the stopwatch. I'm cheating!
gotta wear the bunny hood. You know, why is this such a manual process? You think these x knots would have this process automated? <clears throat> okay, okay. Get get the stopwatch. Oh yeah, see, my problem is when I was counting real fast, I was- I was doing those Mario seconds, you understand? Like the kind that are in Mario 1. Oh uh, yeah, see, now that- that one's green. GREEN! But now I gotta reconnect touch portal. It- it- You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. However, I have detected a tactical error. The potion was not designed to make the dress invisible as well. Oh right, of course. Oh wait. I should hide my dress so it doesn't get discovered. They added freaking like big meaty slap noises when she's walking around. When you go into Sir Grotus's room, locate the disc with the recorded data, then connect to the network. I will explain in further detail when you are in Sir Grotus's room. Once you are finished, please come back to this room. I will teach you how to make yourself normal again. Peach always folds her dress before running around in the nude. Gee, this is kind of a complicated plan, huh? I suppose. Now please go to Sir Grotus's room. I don't know what it is with this game and feet. Whoa. Okay, that was creepy. Why did the doors open even though there's no one here? A malfunction? Or am I just totally losing it here? I didn't mean to do that. But I, you know, we can freak this guy out a little bit more. Don't run into him. Don't run into the guy. Sick Mario Wonder reference. Uh, I'm pretty sure there was no one guarding there. Oh, oh, it's this guy. This guy's the guard. Hey man, what's up? Ooh, fancy carpet. This must be Grotus's room. Now where is that disc? Gotta say, it's swanky little play- oh look, he's got- Hang on, hang on, look, he's got a Famicom disk system made out of paper. Not here. Not here. Found it, this must be it. Then please insert that disk into the computer in this room and connect to the network. All right. <laughs> I did it. Yes, I did it. It's working. 
They could have found an easily- they could have easily found a way to make her clothes invisible too, but it was important for her to be nude for artistic reasons. And yeah, it's- it's got the FDS BIOS and everything. Looks like it's all done. I better put the disc back where I got it. Good thinking. There, like I was never here. Plant. I mean, I will say one thing about the peach sections in this game is that there's a lot less, like, exploring and, like, finding items for Mario. I mean, your mileage may vary on if that's better or worse. Or you don't have any strong opinion one way or the other. The remake doesn't even make a mention of the clothing thing. It's just a casual, oh. Like, oh, okay. It was possible to make some items unobtainable in the first game. Was it? Because I always figured you could, like, just... You know, come pick them up when you were Mario. You know, like, once... Like, once you do the, the final thing. Oh, if you pick them up as Peach, but didn't drop them. Okay. That makes more sense. Thank you, Princess Peach. I was able to obtain the data I desired. I was able to locate Sir Grotus's hentai. Is that right? Well, I'm glad. Now I will teach you how to become visible again. It is quite simple, actually. Merely drink the green potion. You will revert to normal instantaneously. I mean, I will say that Thousand Year Door is, like, really good about preventing you from getting unobtainable, like, permanently missable stuff. Which I appreciate, because I've said a million times that that's one of my game pet peeves. Yeah, you know, like, if you miss the boss tattles. Yeah, better put the clothes on. So that I don't... I don't turn visible again, boobies out, and get this game an M rating. Let's see here, the green potion, right? What a relief. I was kind of worried that I might never become visible again. There was never any danger of that. Now please return to the computer room. Man... What? Man, what vector wouldn't give? This is what the suggestive themes were, yeah. You know, this game- this game has a bit of a fixation on Peach getting naked, and feet. Those two things. Naked, Peach, and feet. But not Peach's Peach, you don't get to see Peach's Peach. Say, by the way, Tech, what was that data? I am still analyzing it. The data is very heavily encrypted. But if my prediction is correct... If it's correct, what? No, I cannot afford any mistakes or assumptions. I will let you know when my analysis is complete. Now, please use the communicator if you wish. Okay, you'll tell me when you decipher the data, huh? It's time for the best chapter in the game. Yeah, I, I, I like chapter six quite a bit. But we're not gonna do that tonight. <laughs> Good, I'll, then I'll use the communicator, thanks. Like I said, Chapter 5, I think, is one of the weaker ones. Which isn't to say it's bad. I don't think there are any bad chapters in this game. But it, it, it's definitely one I like less than the others. I've written my message. Would you send it? You've got mail. Can we load a previous save and see what the red and blue and piss potions do? Sadly, I don't think you can, uh... The message has been sent. We are done for now. Please go back to the room. <laughs> okay, take care, tech. Thank you, Princess Peach. You see, I am a funny character because I make Dustin turn the Bit Crush filter on and off 47 times per chapter. <laughs> 
Why, you're welcome, Tech. Chapter 5 feels really short. Which is funny, because... That's the only one where I had to split it in half, if I recall correctly. Princess Peach, I will protect you. Listen, it's not piss, it's just lemonade. And no, they don't have any grapes. But now it's time for this guy. Where? Where is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. One of those stars should be here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's go to it. Yeet! Sh sh wha wha no, 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 no. Am I going to be turned into a pig again? No, but you're gonna get burned! I like how everybody has something to say about the, the art style here. Pa 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 ma ma. Uh huh. Crystal star. I I have no idea. Really, please, p -p please spare me. I'm dreaming. Yep, just a bad dream. Gonna wake up any second. Eek! Huff! Ack! Oof! Yar! I gotta replay Beautiful Joe again sometime soon. Yeah, I've been meaning for the longest time to stream it, and I just- I still haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> you can't go that way. Oh man, I'm pretty sure Belden said she lost her super bomb arm somewhere around here. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad. Bad, bad, bad. I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else. Bam, got it. I am the man. Now we can crush Mario and get the crystal stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog. Buh, buh, buh. The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. Well, that, well, that's a say. You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the crystal stars, don't you? Buh, somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? Looking for the crystal stars too? Sweet, this will help the crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know, now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big, ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa, whoa there, big guy. I mean, no, wait, what am I afraid of, you? But <laughs> If you try, if you think you can take me, then try it, soup mix. All troops, report! Buh, buh, buh! Yeah, you like that? Kind of a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? <laughs> you dare scoff at us! Cooper Clan, form up! Whoa, well played! <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? Oh, I got to laugh. What a perfect time to have one of these babies handy. Sorry, suckers. Eat this, turtle dolts. Super bomb. Incoming. Oh, that was it? That was your big weapon? That was just a bunch of cheap walk cycles. It didn't even go off. 
<laughs> this is how you're doing, amateur. Watch and learn. Bowser is dead. But don't worry, he's been dead before, so it doesn't really matter. You, you have distinguished yourself in battle. Excelente, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use the ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Oh, I got cramp. Ah, cramping. Ah, cramping. Krampus. Ah, many thanks to- Many thanks to you! The ship can get us back to Roadport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Ah, I can't wait to get home! We've been looking forward to this for so long! Returning home alive is all the treasure I need! For real! Now get this boat moving! Well, that is all there is to it, then. Am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario. Ah, Mario. We're going to stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey Mario, give my regards to the boss, will you? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? Well, I mean, there's still ghosts, it's just the ghosts are your friends now. We made many undead friends on this adventure. Yes, yeah, very good. They'll be rather happy here, eh? Let's be on our way, hmm? Reparados, amigos, cast off. We restored the Dark Moon. Oh yeah, that's right, a, a remake of that game has come out. Well, a remake has come out. I don't know, I might check it out in October or something. Or not, I don't know. I don't know. And thus our adventure came to an exciting end, ah. Huh? The ship sailed smoothly onto Rogueport, and soon we saw the harbor off on our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than the bruins. Yes. Even now I hear the crew readying to duck. This ta the time is ripe to close this journey. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing, up blessing upon you. Flavio. And yeah, I'll probably stop soon, but I'm, I probably want to do a little bit of exploring around town before I do. Unless we return, slathered in glory, to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we returned at all, huh? But of course, you all knew that, and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps, perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. Well, what? Hey, where are you? You're all leaving already? Ah, oh, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure also, ah? Huh? One day you may surpass and the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, but I assure you, you should, how you say, should shoot for the stars, ah? Huh? If you ever should reach the pinnacle... Un momento, that reminds me. If you ever get the urge to return to Keel Hall Key, just say the word, see? I will see you to the Isla faster than the fastest winds can blow. Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. <laughs> Him. I mean, he... He's right, but he shouldn't say it. Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, ah. Uh... Well, 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 old boy. I should think we'd head for that door at this point. Came back from that island alive. Mate, you're a broom in freak of nature. You're a master. You're a true tamer of the high seas. You're more man than I am. Got a new song here, too. If it weren't for you, those guys never would have returned. Thanks, pal! 
I bet I, I'm, I'm gonna stop doing the toad voice. I'd better be careful when I go out to see in the future. Little bros shouldn't have to worry about their older sibs. My big brother came back safe and sound. It's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. Well, you could look a little happier about it. Oh, those guys all look excited. They didn't get rich, but I still kind of envy them. Well, they got they got rich in life experience. Uh oh. We got we got a brother. But first, let me go over here. There's like a little alcove over here. Even got a TV. No house, but TV. The HP drain badge. Hmm. The spring! It's back! <laughs> oh, this, this, this arrangement is really good right here. Okay, let's talk to Broder. Does she have a new tattle? For Duichi? No, I, I think, uh... I think that's yeah, it's the same one. Oh, oh! <laughs> Sorry, Luigi, didn't mean to. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass at Jezefra's town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned adventuring into an art form on that little quest. It was pretty dramatic, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a long story. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. As soon as we hit Jazzafras down, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece of the compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't, since we were looking for the compass part, you know. But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming Drama Slam. He said the so-called Drama Llama plaque might, in fact, be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give it a try, so we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hot... The Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. <laughs> the script was great, but I got really hosed, bro. My role, my part was grass. I played grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro. Grass. I just sprawled out on the ground and had to be silent. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cast someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town, and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just made me feel worse, so I snuck out the back door. But wow, outside were tons of fans! My fans! Fans of grass! They swarmed me! I just couldn't believe it! Imagine, cheering for grass! I was ecstatic, bro! After that, I added the piece to the marvelous compass, which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins in the Grimble Forest, which sounds like a sounds like a freaking smiling friend's name. Then, that voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how you soothe me! I would be grass for you. I will find you, I will reach you, I will stand by your side and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, bro. Um, yeah, anyway, then I got back on my boat. I came back to Rogueport, and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. Okay, now that's, that is it. I'm hazy, and I must say, Luigi is a great actor, one of the finest I've ever seen. After this adventure, we're going on a tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm gonna be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. <laughs> well, I mean, at least, at least it's someone who has something nice to say about him for once. That's Luigi's daisy friend, Hazy. Apparently, Hazy is an actor-director. You know Luigi's acting debut, right? The grass thing? I could never play grass. I'd want to play a princess, and a prince would wake me with a kiss. So romantic. Ah, Goombella. 
our possibly bisexual icon. Hey, that's your ring, Mario. It must be from Princess Peach. Check it. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this tech, I managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Wow, that Princess Peach is so totally awesome. Go, girl! We better get back to work, too. They fixed a glitch with the stories in this version. Oh yeah, what's that? Oh, wait, we got this too. Late afternoon, late afternoon today, Gomez, known for napping in the flowers in the Westside Park, was found eating flowers and giving a stern talking to, stern warning by the authorities. As for comment, Gomez stated, well, I just really, really love flowers and I was hanging out and before I know it, they were in my mouth. I'm so ashamed. Citizens of Rogueport responded with disbelief and grudging support for the strengthening of flower conservation efforts. Alright, this time we introduced the Twilight Shop. Watching the husband and wife proprietors of this shop, this shop at work is a heartwarming sight, but don't get on the hubby's bad side. Don't you go smiling at my wife, says the jovially jealous shopkeeper. I'm hers for life. And your fancy big city teeth aren't going to change that. Well, who could doubt their eternal love? Surely not this reporter. We pressed the shopkeepers for further comment, but regret that his words are unprintable here. <laughs> We did learn from this highly chatty spouse that there will be a double print sale for all RDM readers. Just show her this screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. Oh, well, we'll have to go over there then. Oh, oh so then the original bob Bobbery just freezes. <laughs> Ever alert, Bobbery has trained himself to sleep with his eyes open. A healthy salad. Turtly leaf and a horse tail. Where do you get a horse tail? Accept my challenge. Hello, Mario. This is Mush, Jolene's younger brother and first champion of the Glitz Pit. Remember me? Thanks for helping me out recently. I'm still not sure what happened, but I do know that you and my big sis hadn't saved me. Well, I get chills just thinking about it. Anyway, I was wondering if you'd heard about my big comeback. I've been pushing off, pushing all of my limits with the most punishing training regimen of my entire career. I'm finally feeling and seeing the results. So it's time for Prince Mush to make a grand return to the ring. I want you to witness the fruits of my labor, Mario. I asked my sis for help, and she's arranged a special exhibition match just for the two of us. New champ versus original champ. If you accept my challenge, I'll be waiting for you in the glitz pit. Prepare for a Prince Mush performance like you've never seen before. I'm actually not sure that you have seen me battle before, so just believe me when I say I was good. Don't leave me waiting, Gonzalez. <laughs> okay, so that is an entirely new thing. So that was not in the original game. Entirely new, t entirely new thing. Oh wait, I don't. That's that's not what I want. I want the Luigi badge. Give me the Luigi badge. Okay, so first let me head on over to Twilight Town, pick up a couple things. Since you know we're we got that time limit. Oh wait, this is this is new. You know, I'll, I'll blow it up, but I gotta come back. Uh, I gotta come back later. But yeah, Prince Much is one of two new secret bosses in the remake. And I appreciate that they added some new content to it. Oh wait. Oh wait, yeah, 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 we never came back here. And yeah, we get the door to... We get the door to Twilight Town. I could have just gone <laughs> in the lobby. The lobby, I say the square. The station square. Can't be that secret if he sends you a letter telling you about it. 
I mean, you're right. <laughs> okay, so let me let me store a few things. I mean, I don't know what to do with the whack a bump yet, so I'm just gonna hang on to that. Okay, so let's. You know what? We'll buy some super mushrooms. Uh, maybe a life mushroom. Some of that. Buy one of these to replace the thing that I freaking wasted. I've been wishing the store inventory was infinity. Yeah, this game's pretty stingy about... <laughs> about... inventory space, isn't it? You know what, we'll buy one more thing. We'll buy one more thing to get us up to 50 points. <laughs> the guide was wrong on several cooking recipes. Yep. Okay, Thunder Rage. Okay. So what what can I put? Oh no, nah, I'll just I'll just keep it for right now. Okay, so now we can head back and actually check out some of the new areas that we have open to us. But yeah, seriously, guys, cheer up. The the curse is lifted. Oh, oh, that's new. That that this this man is supremely new. I forgot that this happened. <laughs> so yeah, Goombella, need you to tattle that Magikoopa. No way! I can't believe this! It's Wizardheimer! That's a Magikoopa, you know, a Koopa wizard. It'll throw a load of paint our way while using magic to help its buddies. What a creep. When there's only one of them, it splits up into multiple copies to mess with us. Stop this thing fast, or we'll be in a world of hurt. <laughs> Look at all the, my my 500 kinds of jumps that I can use. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Mario just no sells that. It's like riding in President Armstrong, or Senator Armstrong. I mean, I'm sure he'd like to be president. And you know what that means! You know what that means! Okay. Now what will we put on now? Could, uh, could put on Spike Shield, that would be pretty useful. Power Bounce. I mean, I haven't had that on in a while. You know what? Sure, put that back on. <laughs> Just hoard all the different kinds of jumps. Oh, oh, the ironic pain. The ironic death. All the punies are here for some reason. You know, the crowd thing's actually neat in another way. Because it, it allows NPCs that haven't been relevant in a while... ...to still kind of appear in the game. Did the badge description include your record for power bounces? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to check. I'll have to check when I get out of this battle.
God, please don't tell me I'm going to have to do a hundred of those again. I would really prefer not. I feel like they buffed the experience gains. Uh, maybe. Like I said, it's been a while since I played the original, so I don't remember the fine details. Now, where was that power bounce? Oh, yeah. The current record for continuous jumps is two. Which is really pathetic. I gotta... Those are rookie numbers. I gotta up that. But like I said, in, in my defense, I haven't had it equipped in quite a while. Okay, now we can check out what this is. So there's this. There's a, there's a lot of new things we can check out. The purple house. What, what's going on in here? A man with a barrel on his head and he has the, the piece. He has a force gem. <laughs> Welcome to Chet Rippo's adjustment house. This is where you come to adjust your stats or your partner's ranks. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... Based on that guy from uh, Paper Mario 64. Yeah, so this is the level adjuster, man. But, you know, I'm, I'm happy with my levels. I don't see any need to change them. It's kind of interesting that you only get the ability to do this this late into the game. And now we can finally blow this up. Any cool badges I can get from you? Let's see. I could get that. Mm hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. Eh, I'll get the power plus, whatever. Oh yeah, that was the, uh... Yeah, that's... I don't need it yet. I don't need that yet. I mean, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here. No, wait, we never, we never figured out what this was about, did we? I don't think we can yet. I think maybe that's a chapter six thing. Was there anything over here that I could I could do anything with? I know one place where there's like new stuff. No, that's that's still not. All oh, Koopa Patrol. So if I, <laughs> I I'm kind of trying to do something here, mate. Oh, okay. Goombella, get back out here. Isn't there a bombable place in the sewer somewhere? Well, I did one of them. That's a Koopa Troll, a Koopa Troopa who protects himself with spiked armor. It attacks with its shell and with its head and sometimes charges up for a fierce move. Plus, if you take too long to win, it'll call reinforcements. Yeah, sort of gnarly, huh? It's one of the worst of Bowser's guys. Koopa Troopa's dream of being Koopa Trolls. Hey, and by the way, what do you think Bowser's doing now anyway? Eating? <laughs> I don't know. S something stupid, I'm sure. <laughs> Dying, mostly. Yeah, last I checked, he was getting nuked. Okay, but now, what was... What's the deal with the X? I still haven't figured out the X. 
Nope, that's not it. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. There's one more bombable space, but you need the ultra boot. Okay. So there was like... Yeah, like over here, there's a, a boat. See ya, suckers! Hey, it's the warp room. See ya, suckers! I already killed everybody in here. Already saw ya a long time ago, suckers! Oh god, it's the spin your room. Oh wait, 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 wait. Is this a performance? Oh my god, it's a performance. So, I actually know a trick about this. Oh, wait, crap. So, okay. So you're only supposed to be able to get two of the shine sprites in this room right now. But I know a trick to get all three. Wait, hang on. So, hang on. Yeah, there. Bring out Bobbery. Oh, wait, crap. That didn't work. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's just collateral damage. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So yeah, if you do that, you can get this Shine Sprite a little early. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kill! Imagine if they patched that out. Yeah, but they didn't. So yeah, neat little, neat little sequence break, I suppose. But there's a badge over there we need to get. Oh wait, crap. Yeah, it's- you gotta... Yeah, it's- it's really tight. There we go. Boost Mario's defense by one. Which I think I would like. But I need five. So how can I get five? Maybe I'll just wait till I level up, I don't know. I mean, I already got one on, so... <laughs> Oh wait, I, no wait, this is... No, I don't need that. Why don't you just use Cooper? Well, I mean, it's Coops in this game, but you do have a valid point. Hang on, uh... What can I do? What do I not need here? I mean, I guess I don't really need this too much. You know, I'll, I'll get rid of some of my stomp variants for now. Because I, I will go for the raw power. Or, I mean, the raw defense.
<laughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> that's pretty good. Pretty good change. But yeah, if it worked in the pit, it might defeat the purpose a little bit, I suppose. Now let's let's try this out. Let's let's see my epic defense. Wow, neither of us managed to hit. Oh wait, hang on. I'm seeing a bit of a opportunity here. There we go. It's free. Let's try Danger Mario. Eh, I don't really feel like it right now. I'll be honest with you. Maybe next time. boy. Like, I'm, my, my plan is to wrap this up fairly soon, so... You know. Okay, so there is a, another boat pad that I can go to. That I can go to. I don't know if it's quicker to just go in here. But I'm doing it, so... But there's also a boat pad up here, so I suppose I could go to that. Oh, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Stop ground pounding, open the door. Yeah, a bobber is the only one we have right now. We, we have more shine, spite, shine sprites than we will realistically ever need. Unless I can level them up a second time. Yeah, everybody's full. Everybody's full. <laughs> shine spites collecting one removes a shine sprite from your count. I mean, let's be honest, that's something shun Sunshine would probably do. Sunshine. And, and see, that's... That that works too. The the sunshine. Yeah, so you can go sailing over here, and wiggle around a little bit. There's a chest. It's like the stars. Those are good. They should be in a in a real. A real Mario, a real Mario game. Not any of this party nonsense. A competitive version of Sunshine where you're trying to light up your island faster than everyone else's. I mean, honestly, you could just do that with regular Sunshine. There's nothing stopping you. Okay, yeah, so we got that. We got the double dip. Oh, there's... There's a star piece behind that chimney I never got. Okay, so let's grab that real quick. Yeah, I mean, I will confess, I will confess, it doesn't have the anti-shines. Mario Sunshine 35. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. We don't even have regular Mario 35 anymore. 
something that I am still mad about and will not stop bringing up. Well, I mean, we do have it if you have a hacked Switch. Which I don't at the moment, but if I ever do, then I wouldn't mind doing a Mario 35 comeback stream. Now what is- how do you get that? Oh, I know how you get that. Honestly, I might end up hacking my Switch once the Switch 2 comes out, at least if it's backwards compatible. Oh, yeah, you gotta- you gotta go up there, I think. Which I cannot do. But yeah, we can now sail over here. Which we could not do before. More shine sprites that I, I don't know what to do with. Oh, yep, and I can't- I can't get to that pipe yet. Yeah, I mean, all indications seem to point to the fact that they are going to have backwards compatibility, but, you know, you don't, you don't really know until you see it. Okay, now what else is there? I mean, I know there's something to the left here, in the left side of town. How often does this guy change his, uh... Oh, well, th this is new. It's not the Luigi badge, but, you know, it, it's something. Whew. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that one, Chief. I don't know about that one. Hey, Toadsworth, listen to this. Master Mario, why must you taunt me this way? Ah, piercing blow. Ooh. Ooh. But I kinda don't want to spend any more money right now. Ooh. So, there was a secret in that one guy's house. Is there a secret in the other house? No, no, you just come out through his, like, dresser. That's right. Now, what- what else? What else? Yeah, so there's a bombable wall over here. Yeah, there we go. Again, more shine sprites that I can't currently do anything with. Oh! oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you really thought... You thought... But you thought wrong. I don't know what you thought, but you thought it. I mean, are there any recipes we could be doing? I mean, I know I got, like... Have I cooked a super mushroom? I don't think I have, so... Let me just... Let me try that. Wait, it... Why, why do you have a honey mushroom on there? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. That was a waste of everything.
Hmm. I don't really know what to try. I mean, there was a few- there's a few recipes in my emails. Like, yeah, this was like the horse tail. The turtly leaf and the horse tail. I, have, I don't remember if I've seen a horse tail. Oh, did I- did I do that? Well, I mean, it- it'll tell me in my journal. Or maybe. Right, oh yeah, right here. Yeah. Yeah. So can I just- can I just take this? Yeah, yeah, she doesn't care. She does not care. Oh wait, what does this say? Toad Bros Bazaar announces new shipment of bestseller Super Luigi. Get your copy. Sometimes I think I'd be better off not speaking. Oh, I wish I was still a pig. All right, we'll buy- No, wait, we can't. We cannot buy Luigi's autobiography. I- I did not push that. I mean, I'm just kinda- I- I don't have a lot of money. I might have to just wait till I get some more. Now, what- is there anything else that I should be doing here? I mean, I might check the trouble center quickly. Like, I'm not gonna actually do any jobs, but I kind of just want to see what's in there. Okay, so life mushroom. I mean, I could make that happen pretty quick. Looking for a gal. Yeah, you know what? You know what? We'll... We'll- we'll do that real quick. And then we'll probably end the stream with that. I like the implication that she's <laughs> she's literally concocting a plan to become immortal. Because, I mean, if you die of old age, and that thing revives you, what- what then? What happens? The scary prospect. One rub of this chocolate, and- and you'll live forever. Bow, bow. Okay, there she is. Wait, you're that gent that said you'd help me out, right? I'm counting on you. It's like the Billy and Mandy episode with the bonus years thing. I'm glad that you thought of that, too. Also, I think she had the, the fil filter. I'm getting on in years, so I'd feel safer if I had a life mushroom around. All right, here. Oh, Glory, you got one. A life mushroom. Lovely. Thank you, marty -o. And you made it before I actually needed it. Woo, here, take this reward. A life mushroom is like health insurance. I'll live a long life now for certain. Well, I mean, I made a profit on that. That, that might be enough to buy Luigi's autobiography. I forgot. Billy and Mandy was Pete Cartoon Network and I cannot be convinced otherwise. I mean, you're not going to hear any disagreements here. I mean, I don't know if I'd say peak, but it was really good. Always enjoyed it. But first, we have to double check to make sure he doesn't have the Luigi medal badge emblem.
Just making sure. Uh, no, but he's got a jam and jelly. Oh, wait, 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 I remember one. I remember something. I remember something that I can do. This is a rip. This lottery is a rip-off. I mean, just like the real one, but you know. So, how much was this? 128? Yeah, we can afford that now. Hey, uh, you wanna buy this mushroom? For two, two coins. You know what? That's actually a waste. That's a waste of a mushroom because you can litter, you can cook it and now it's worth five. So you might as well just do that. I mean, she is right. Stomping on stuff is what Mario does, generally speaking. Yeah, you see what I mean? Literally worth, like... Like, 250% of what that is. Okay. Okay, we'll read the book and then we'll- and then we'll stop. I like how this is under useful items. It's a little it's a little warm, Luigi muttered, the sweat dripping from his brow as he followed the compass up Rumble Bump Volcano's side. Must find the secret grotto. While Luigi had guts to spare, he did need a guide, and he found one in Bluey. A Bluey? The blooper he met in town. Brave Bluey joined Luigi and instantly proved to be invaluable. With his aid, Luigi bested a savage statue that protected the treasure. That treasure was none other than a piece of the marvelous compass, a piece that pointed to Plump Belly Village. The second Luigi saw Plump Belly Village, he knew something was amiss. All was woe, and Luigi soon learned the reason why from the mayor. The town was at the mercy of a sinister serpent who demanded sacrificial lasses. Burning with indignation, Luigi formed a team of liberators. A fierce Babam warrior named Jerry joined his crew and chose, not surprisingly, to stick with Luigi for the duration of his quest for Eclair. Fortified by his allies, Luigi strode on into the lair of the beast, a foul two-headed snake. No time to think, Luigi sprang forth. Twin heads snapped at his heels, fangs dripping venom. Then, as one mouth gaped wide to swallow Luigi, the other crept behind. Our hero sensed the treachery and fainted before leaping. The heads collided, and the beast ate itself. Ourob Ouroboros? A prize? A compass piece. The villagers, the villagers begged their savior to stay with them, but a grim-faced Luigi pressed bravely onward. Alright, so... <sighs> thanks for... Thanks for showing up, everybody. We'll be back with some more of this soon. But for right now, my butt hurts, and I'm gonna get up. Everybody have a good night or whatever, and I'll see you around.